really excited right now. I am headed to Frankenbike. Let's go for a quick ride. So if you're not familiar with Frankenbike, it is a bicycle swap meet. And I think they have two or three cities they do it in. I know they do it in Austin and San Antonio, and I wanna say maybe uh, somewhere near Dallas, maybe Fort Worth or something. And this is my first one. So it should be interesting, I'm really excited. I've been waiting a very long time to do this. Um, so for me, I, I did register to set up as a vendor. I mostly want to get some feedback on my trailer design. And I haven't really shared it on YouTube yet. This is my latest design. It's made out of T-slot rails. So I'll be doing a full video soon on the design and the uh, system or the, the practicality of these trailers. But for now, I guess let's talk a little bit about why I built them and, and what they're supposed to accomplish. So the main premise is that I want to be able to have one trailer that can do just about everything. The only thing that I haven't fully sorted out yet, but I know eventually I'll get there, is um, making it safe for kids. Right now it's mostly just a cargo trailer that can mount pretty much any type of cargo that you want on there. So I have a few different tow pins that I mount to it. I have magnet mounts and a shopping cart basket, a plywood base, a plastic base. So there really are a ton of different uses for this thing based on the need. And what I really wanted to do is just, I want it to be extremely simple. Kind of under anticipated that yellow light right there. I probably should have stopped at that yellow. Um, I was going kind of slow. Well, let me take the lane here, get behind this bus. It's always fun being behind a bus. So uh, this one, this Franken bike, they're doing at the Aristocrat, the, ooh, sorry, the Aristocrat Lounge which is about 10 miles. I'm going to go easy, nice and slow, and take the scenic route. Well, it's right by Shoal Creek Boulevard, which just had some major improvements on their bike lanes. So I definitely want to check that out, uh, which will probably take us about a mile uh, I'll probably add about a mile to the route. So let's see, I gotta take the lane to pass this bus. Let me go. And I don't wanna talk too much, probably set it into time warp soon. But yeah, ultimately it'll probably be about 20 or 22 miles round trip. I want to go nice and slow, probably be in the first or second gear in the Nexus 3, and pedal assist one of five for most of it. Try to conserve battery. This is a fairly new battery pack, so I don't really know my exact range, especially carrying cargo that tends to take a little more power. So I'll use my legs a little bit more than usual today. 
and mostly probably just use the motor to help climb up hills because you know a lot of people a lot of people love doing bike trailers with regular pedal bikes uh, for me it's the uphills that really do it for me so right now i just dropped it down to pedal assist zero because i'm about to go downhill and especially when i have the trailer behind me you know with the extra weight going down hills is nice and smooth so we don't really need much assist unless we're in a hurry and we want to go real fast but today we're just going nice and casual beautiful day for a ride it's uh, probably in the mid 80s right now with a nice cool breeze and I'm thinking I'm gonna shift into time warp real quick and I'll meet you guys over by Shoal Creek. So that first spot back there where the bike lane dips off into the sidewalk and it's actually going to happen again. Uh, normally with this bike I could do 40 so I'll just, I would max out the pedal assist and take the lane. Of course, you know, shoulder check, make sure it's safe, take the lane. Uh, but since I'm running the trailer, it's always better to use the safe route at these speeds. I'm only doing, you know. 10, 15 miles an hour, so can't trust cars that are doing 50, unfortunately. And at first I was really upset about these. You know, I just don't get it. Why just end the bike lane? You know, like if you're gonna build the infrastructure, then finish it. And that, that's probably my biggest complaint with uh, bike lane infrastructure is just how it just, ends sometimes and usually it ends at the most dangerous points um, so it's really frustrating sometimes but once you get used to it you know it's usually the first time that you're running a new route it's like oh boy what, what's happening here but uh, once you get used to it it's not so bad and you just kind of learn to adjust to the uh, traffic conditions and that kind of thing but always Good to be safe than sorry. 